Welcome back friends to Build A Lot Acres. My name's Case, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the one thing every wood splitter needs, but a lot don't have. Stay tuned. So before we get into the video, let me know in the comments, do you guys drink iced coffee year round? I do, it could be 10 degrees Fahrenheit and I still drink it. I don't know if it's just a crazy New England thing or if it's a countrywide thing or a worldwide thing. Let me know in the comments. So before we get into what the thing is that all wood splitters could use, let's get into some of the things that it's not. Some of you might be thinking it's a bigger engine. Some of you might be thinking faster, bigger hydraulics, which would equate to a faster cycle time. Some of you might be thinking a log lift. While all those things are beneficial and are handy to have, that's not the topic of today's video. So if it's not any of those things, what is it? Work table, production table, staging table, processing table, an area to stack, sort, or do whatever you need to do with your wood. And that's gonna help you be a lot more efficient with your wood splitter. Let's talk more about it. So let's talk about my super split production table, work table, because that's the splitter I have, and that's the example I have to show you. But a lot of these kind of principles you could apply and use with any splitter. So super split often is what they call a production table. Like I said, you could call it a staging table, work table, you know, whatever you want. All the terms kind of mean the same thing, but production table meaning it helps you be more productive, better production, hence the production table. Now, when I bought mine, you could only get one size. They actually offer a bigger, extra wide production table now. It comes in three pieces, I believe. And if I was getting a super split today, 2023, that's what I would get. But no matter what brand of splitter I got or owned, one of the first things I would probably do or modify or add is a work table. It's gonna help you be a lot more efficient with your time. When you're splitting a big piece of wood, you're gonna need somewhere to put the other half of the wood while you work the first half, or maybe you want to stage the splits. Because let's be honest, some people might be thinking wanting to split it right onto a conveyor and have it empty into a truck. That is probably the case for a lot of commercial firewood sellers, but a lot of people splitting wood aren't doing that. They might be putting it in a bucket, they might be putting it in IVC cages, they might be just dumping it onto the ground or a rear barrel or a cart. So depending on your situation, you might not want the wood falling on the ground, so you gotta pick it up again. If you can leave it on the staging table, and then transport it at waist height, it makes things a lot easier, especially for us older guys. So in addition to the OEM production table I got from SuperSplit, I actually ended up making a secondary staging kind of table because the production table is nice, but it really isn't big enough, in my opinion, to stack your wood and do what you need to do. So with this extra extension area, that gives me the ability to have drop down legs, more stability for my log lift, and it gives me an area to stack all my splits before putting them into my IVC tote, tractor bucket, etc. So another great way that I've seen people go is they'll actually take a second table and put it near the splitter. They don't actually have the table mounted in any way to the splitter. It's just a second table that they built. You know, it could be out of wood, steel, whatever. It's just nearby, they can take the pieces, put them on the table, work their piece, grab the next piece. In my opinion, the key is having the table at waist height or thereabouts. When you're bending over and picking the wood up off the ground, you're being a lot more inefficient with your time. You're going to have more strain in your lower back and you could have all kinds of mud and things getting all over the wood. So having it waist height is really the key to this system, in my opinion. Stable, huh? So I think one of the biggest things that entry level splitters lack isn't necessarily a commercial grade engine, it isn't necessarily fast hydraulics or a log lift, because all those are going to add a lot of cost. It's the work table. That's one of the things that, you know, you buy one of the box store splitters from Tractor Supply or whatever, there's really nowhere to put your wood. You split your wood, it falls on the ground, you got to pick it back up. Some of them do have add-on log, log cradles and different things, but they're usually pretty small and they really can't hold any real wood. 
something like this table, you know, I could easily hold 10, 12 cubic feet of wood, enough to fill up a couple of wheelbarrows at a go. So I don't know that there's really too much more to say on work tables. I think it's one of the handiest things you can do. And it doesn't cost a lot of money. Like I said, you could build it out of two by fours and spend very little money, have a separate table away from your splitter a few feet, and you're still gonna get all the same benefits, productivity, efficiency you're gonna get out of a system like I have. But it's just gonna make your life a lot easier. You're not bending down, picking wood up off the ground. You're not traveling a long distance to get your wood. It's not falling off the splitter every time you split a piece in half. And I just think it's the way to go. Let me know in the comments, you guys, the systems that you use. Do you have a big table on your splitter like I have here? Do you have a separate table? Do you think having a table is worthwhile? Do you think it adds a lot of productivity? Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. See you next time.